Hey guys, it's Anya. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't made a video in a very long time. I'll give a quick update. If you want to skip straight to the video, um, then I'll put time marker. Um, I've got a new tattoo, um, my first ever tattoo that I went to go get, which is a phoenix, which um, represents definitely me with my mental health and stuff like that. So that meant a lot to me to get it done. I've got face piercings. So I've got my septum done, my nose, and I've got my eyebrow. Um, and yeah, I've kind of, yeah, I feel kind of a bit more authentic in me now. I've completed a uh, foundation degree. So the two years um, of a degree, I've got my third one coming up in September. And that's in professional studies and education. I've got a partner um, called Molly. Now we've been dating for six months and that's going really well. Um, and what else have I done? I'm now um, getting really back into basketball very recently. Very recently, I've just got this fire for it now. Um, and yeah, absolutely loving the sport. Um, I play for Jaguars Wheelchair Basketball Club. Um, and I've pushed through and pushed through and pushed through to get a women's team. And we now have a women's team. So I'm gonna attempt to do a video once a week at the same time. And I'll put the date here, I will decide on that. See if I can kind of build it up again. Almost, I've, I'm, it's almost like a rebrand, like I'm a different person now. Um, definitely more myself. Um, so yes, so to the video then. Hi, it's Anya, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I get in and out of a bath and my kind of washing and drying um, sort of routine. Um, lots of people ask how can you have a bath if you can't stand, can't walk, can't move your legs whatsoever um, and I've come up with a good system where I actually use a bath stall instead of a very expensive like 300 quid sort of reclining and going up and down a bath seat um so yeah but if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and share to people that you think it would help okay thanks so as paraplegics we do lift and shift transfers which basically just means using your upper body to lift your lower body manually i'll lift my legs up into the bath <laughs> like that Then move on to the edge of the bath and then move to the bath stool. Um, and that's how I do it. And then I will basically lower my body uh, carefully into the bath using the bath like that and lower down like that. And um, one thing that I really enjoy with um, bathing um, and showering is that I get a uh, neuropathic pain, uh, which is from the spinal cord injury. It means that to many people's belief, they think paraplegics can't feel their legs. And yes, technically, if you, you know, poke me or whatever, I can't feel it or feel like burns and stuff like that, or any sort of pain. Um, what I do feel is neuropathic pain, which is basically like burning pins and needles. It's very, very painful. I'm on a lot of medication to try and tame it, but it is painful anyway. But yeah, in the bath, what I like to do is, for some reason, when I put water kind of on this part of my body, I get lots of actually quite nice tingles. So normally it's like painful tingles, but somehow when I put kind of water um, on my waist and kind of where I can feel, for some reason, don't ask me why, it can relieve pain quite a lot. I also kind of put it around my hips. That's often where I get the most sort of tingling sensations is when I kind of do this sort of motion with the water. I, I honestly don't know about this. And like with um, showers, what's well, heat and heat can sometimes help. And sometimes say if I have a bath um, and then get out, actually putting the hairdryer on the same spots can help if I'm still in pain. So yeah, that's what's good. And then to actually get in the bath, Like, I'm very strong, but I guess if you weren't as confident in your abilities, then careful with this sort of transfer. Uh, but yeah, I kind of put my legs in a sort of crisscross, um, and I will lower myself down with uh, my arms. So my arms are incredibly strong. <laughs> um, so it's not like, it's never a worry when I get in the bath that I'm gonna fall or 
anything like that. So this shower stall, it's got little kind of suckers on the on the um, bottom of it. Um, sometimes, I guess, if I'm lazy, I can just sit like this in the bath. But majority of the time, I want to get in the bath. So it's got little suckers here that I will take off. I do find the bath seat really good for um, cracking my back, which I will show you later. But I just put that on my wheelchair there. Um, and then, yeah, everything else is pretty easy. So again, just using my arms to lift and shift my body weight. Put my legs like that, lay down in the bath. Um, you don't like wah, soap. Um, in the bath, um, my legs don't float or anything. Uh, funnily enough, when I actually go swimming, um, my legs can kind of float. I kind of look like a bit of a seahorse or something. They kind of float at this sort of angle. Um, in bath, it'd have to be, well, I, they don't really float in the bath. They kind of just stay. Um, it's in big bodies of water that my legs will float. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty easy. <laughs> and sometimes I'll kind of put my legs on the wall and I'll use the shower to kind of do the same thing um, by just putting it over but this time it's on the things that I can't feel um, and I can put it at the bottom of my feet at the top of my feet um, I can have it all the way on my calves and um, just warming my legs up seems to do wonders for nerve pain um, and then to get back out, um, I can just put this back on. So what I love doing, and it's my favourite part at the end, is I'll actually crack my back and my neck with the stool behind me. So to do a back one, I'll go here um, and... Oh God, I didn't think it was going to go. Poor, it's good, it feels good. And then to do my neck, I'll kind of go a bit more forward and I'll crack and crack my neck like so. And that feels really nice. Um, and then to get out of the back. So it doesn't really matter where I position my legs particularly, um, I'm able to lift. Um, but yeah, I'm able to lift my body weight. So shower stools and stuff is just if you're able to lift your body weight. So I'll put my arms like this and I'll go back. And to me, that's just easy, easy peasy. And then to get out, I just do the absolute opposite. So I leave my legs in the bath. I use my body to go that way. Naturally fall into the seat manually with my legs. And we are at the bath. That is honestly the best I've found for having a bathing sort of routine. Um, I'm a bit lazy. I never really wash, like dry my hair, let it dry naturally. Um, so I don't normally use the hair dryer, but sometimes I might dry my feet off. One thing I have to be really careful of is, is to, I haven't got a towel now, but you need to, I just wanted to grab a towel. So one thing you have to be incredibly careful of that I never even noticed is that um, when you're paraplegic, you obviously can't feel the wetness of your body. So you do have to be able to dry your body off. One thing I have to do now is, is dry the insides of my toes because growth warning, I've got athlete's foot multiple times um, because of not drying my feet after a bath. Um, I've got these kind of light little gloves things and I'll just you know, you know how to dry your feet, but I just thought that, you know. Um, but yeah, doing that straight away. And then I've got like talc powder and I've got antifungal talc powder because I've had athletes for probably four or five times. Um, and the thing is, I've probably had it more than that, but it was only actually when I went to go, yeah, look at my feet, um, that I realised, oh my God, there's this grim white stuff in between. How many times have I had Ang uh, um, Angus foot? <laughs> How many times have I had athlete's foot 
and not known about it probably the whole time because it's so you've been recently when I first got it and then weeks like later I got it again weeks later I got it again so it's something you have to be really careful of um I don't know how severe athlete's foot can get but it's not nice to have that's one for sure that's one thing for sure but yeah just make sure you dry yourself make sure as well if you do get a shower stall like this you are capable of lifting your body weight um and just stay safe and make sure your legs aren't flapping around and banging things um but i'm honestly not the greatest role model because i do kind of chuck myself away chuck myself around um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys i will put out a video every week now um and yeah see if i can um gather your uh, and see if I can get your attention back and start loving my videos again and sharing them, etc. Okay, thanks.